Hey everyone, today we're going to be creating this really fun, funky body mask effect. So we're going to be using lots of different segmentation techniques to get to this and we'll show you exactly how to do it. So let's dive in. For today's tutorial, what we're going to need is Photoshop and Spark AR. So in Photoshop, we'll be creating our own LUT and then we'll be taking this into Spark AR and creating the effect. So we're going to dive straight into Photoshop and first of all, we're going to open up our test pics file. So this is a selection of different photos taken at different exposures and different saturations and we can see what our LUT will look like on all of these different types of shooting environment. So we're going to go straight in and we're going to add in an adjustment layer. So go to layers, adjustment layer, then add in a new one and we're going to go for the black and white one here. Um, just to remove all color because for this effect we'll be wanting a black and white adjustment. Um, and then you can sort of play with different settings within this adjustment layer to really get the effect that you want. Uh, so we're going to add in another adjustment layer and this one is going to be curves. Now what curves allow us to do is to really fine tune the different levels of our black and white because with black and white it can be quite sort of stark or harsh it can be quite soft it can be dramatic and I think what we're going to go for here is a quite a dramatic black and white so we're going to take up the mids uh, lower the lowers a little bit and then lower the highlights a bit as well and that gives us a really nice sort of gray at the top end and pretty dark on the bottom end and then we're going to add in another adjustment layer and we're going to add in levels this time. Um, levels is very similar to curves but it allows us to just really sort of more quickly adjust the output levels so we're going to take the highlights off a bit so it's a bit more grey on the top end and then we'll bring our mids up a little bit, maybe not. No, we want the quite dark so let's leave it dark so this is basically done now so what we're going to do is go to file and then we're going to go to export and we're going to go to export color lookup tables and then we're going to rename this dramatic black and white and then we want to export the cube so go to ok get rid of the PSD here Right, so let's go to our file and save that. Assets, dramatic black and white. So now what we're gonna do is we'll go to the files. Now all of these files will be available for download. Um, so just hit the link in the description. You'll be able to download all these files from Gumroad and they'll all be free. Um, so open up your neutral LUT PNG and then we're going to add an adjustment, a new adjustment layer to this one and this one's going to be a color lookup adjustment layer. So hit color lookup, OK, we'll rename this to dramatic black and white and I'm sure you can guess what we're going to do here. So go to the top thing here, go to load 3D LUT, click on that and then find the LUT that you just created and then load that in and you see how it changes the colors there so this is what spark uses for its LUTs within the program so we'll save this as dramatic black and white and this will save as a png great all right so we're done in photoshop now and let's get building in spark hey guys thanks for watching if you're getting anything valuable out of this video it would be a real help to me if you'd hit the like and subscribe button and then i can make more of these for you right so we're going to come into spark and we're going to click a new sharing effect um, and then we're going to get this off my face so you don't have two of me right so we'll just use one of the reference videos here uh, we're going to import from our computer the black and white LUT that we just created so bring that in um, and then what we are also going to do is we're going to go to search AR library now there's loads of stuff in here that you can use within your projects and what we're going to do is we're going to search for LUT for this one so this patch here is called fast color LUT and it's by Josh Beckwith who's very worth a follow so we'll import that to our project and then we'll hit done and get rid of that right so there it is. So we're going to create a material and this one will be our body material. 
and then we're going to create another material this one will be our person material there is a difference between body and person so we're going to go up to our scene and we're going to click rectangle and this will bring in a rectangle for us and we'll fill width and we'll fill height perfect let's change this to rename this one to person material and then we'll duplicate that and rename this one body material right and assign their respective materials to them Great. Now we're going to go up here and go view patch editor. Now this is where we're going to create our effect. So we'll go up to camera and we'll go to texture extraction and click the plus button there. So that'll bring our camera texture in our textures and segmentation. And we want person and we'll rename that because it doesn't call it person, person seg and then back up. And then we'll want all of them, so we'll go here. And we can't use this on Facebook, so you won't be able to publish this effect to Facebook, but this one will be able to go on Instagram. We'll change this to hair seg. And then finally, plus again, and skin. We'll change this one to skin seg. Right, and what we're gonna do is gonna highlight all of those. Actually, let's go to body material and person material. Right, and go up to the texture and click the little arrow and that will bring that one person material diffuse texture node into the patch editor. And then we're going to select our camera texture and person segmentation texture. So once you've dragged those in, separate them out and then we're going to right click. Oh, bring in our fast cold up first. Right, so we'll drag the camera texture to the fast color LUT and select our LUT in the bottom drop down and then drag that to person material and we'll just untick visibility there so you see that our lot is now affecting the camera so what we want to do is we're going to get a mix node so right click type in mix and that'll bring up the mix node and we're going to use the person segmentation as an alpha to cut out from our camera texture so drag the fast color lot down to the bottom box there and that into person material and let's choose something with a different background and you see how what it's done is it has cut our person out from the background but left the background in color so it's like a cut out of an alpha much like this is doing to me here right so we're going to go to body material and bring the body material into the patch editor so tap the arrow and that'll bring up our body material node and then what we're going to do is we're going to get another mix node so the mix patch just mixes between two different things it can be two different materials it could be sorry two different textures it can be two different variables it does both so let's turn our body material back on and we're going to drag in our hair segmentation and use that so you can see that just chops out the hair and then we're going to drag in skin and we'll see that this just chops out the skin but what if we want to add them both together so move those back and then we'll right click and we'll type add it's as simple as that so drag these down to add to add them both together and then we'll drag that over to there and you see it adds the skin and the hair segmentation together and what you can do you can change the combos of what you want if you just want to chop out the hair you can chop out the hair if you just want to chop out the skin you can chop out the skin uh, you can change the mask size and the edge softness so let's take the edge softness right down on these so it's a bit sharper for us and then we're going to get another mix node and we're going to put this in between so drag this one down to here and this one up to here and then what we're going to do is we're going to use the person segmentation to chop this out and you see we've now got 
a blank texture where the body is. But we can still see the skin and the hair segmentation. Now we're going to add in a value node and we'll change this to a color and add this up to there. So if you do it as black, you see it just changes that to black there. But to see the effect, we'll just change this to a color. And now you can see that it is chopped this out and you can add anything in here. You can add in like a photograph, you can add in a pattern, anything you want. We're going to add in um, a moving texture. So we're going to add in a loop animation and a pack animation. And we're going to change this to a vector four because textures are four channels. So RGBA, red, green, blue, alpha. But what we're going to do is we're going to change this from, we're going to change the color space. So add in a color space node and we're going to change this from HSV, which is hue saturation value, I think, to RGB. And that means that when we loop the first variable, that's looping through the different hues. So zero to one is like, I think it starts at red, goes all the way through to blue and then back to red again. Um, so what this is doing is it's just cycling through those values. So let's save this now because this is basically done. So that's body, neon body mask. Perfect. Save that. Right, so that's ready to be uploaded now. Um, if you're not sure on how to upload it, in our last two videos, if you go back and see that, it shows how to export and upload uh, your filter onto Spark. Now, in body material, you can play with the different things here. You can add it in so it'll layer over the lower texture. You can replace it so you just see the outline. You can screen it, which is the same as add, really. Um, you can play around, so adding in the hair segmentation, just changing which way around the alphas work to find what you want to do with it. But there's loads of different ways you can play with this. All right, so that's probably going to do it for today's tutorial. Um, let me know how you get on if you've got any questions about this. Make sure you do have a play around with the different variables and stuff because you start to learn about how this works that way. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. If you got any value from this, if you could hit the like and subscribe buttons, that would be really helpful to me and to the channel and mean I can make more of these for you. Don't forget to ding that notification bell. Catch you in the next one. Peace.